Here's the tropical weather outlook. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on tropical storm dirt, located about 130 miles southeast of Bermuda. Shower and thunderstorm activity has diminished in association with the broad area of low pressure, located about 550 miles north-northeast of the Northern Leeward Islands. Environmental conditions are expected to remain only marginally conducive for development of this system over the next couple of days due to proximity to tropical storm dirt. This system has a low chance, 10%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours as it moves north-northwestward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of southwest and south-central Arkansas, northwest and north-central Louisiana, southeast Oklahoma, and east and northeast Texas. For today and tonight, isolated thunderstorms will be possible for some locations today and tonight along and near a nearly stationary boundary that will whip north. Strong and gusty winds will be possible in and near thunderstorms. No organized hazardous weather is expected at this time. Temperatures will climb to near or slightly above 100 degrees today with heat index values ranging from near 100 to 105 degrees with brief and isolated higher readings. For the period Tuesday through Sunday, temperatures will climb to near or slightly above 100 degrees for much of the rest of the week and into the weekend with heat index values ranging from near 100 to 105 degrees. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. The activation of air radio operators train storm spotters or emergency management the personnel will not be needed today or tonight you are listening to weather radio station wxk 36 broadcasting in tyler on 162.475 megahertz here's a look at local weather conditions as of 6 a.m at the top of the hour skies were clear in tyler the temperature was 77 degrees at the regional airport the dew point was 68, making the relative humidity 73%. Winds were south at 7 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.91 inches and steady. In long view, skies were clear with a temperature of 77 degrees. The dew point was 69, making the relative humidity 76%. Winds were east at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.91 inches and rising. Once again in Tyler, it was 77 degrees with clear skies at 6 a.m. Around the local area at 6 a.m. in Taro, partly cloudy and 77. Wind calm. DFW Airport, mostly cloudy and 80. Wind southwest at 5 miles an hour. Paris, partly. Wind east at 12 miles an hour. Texarkana, clear and 73. Wind calm. Shreveport, partly cloudy and 80 degrees. Wind southeast at 6 miles an hour. Jacksonville, clear and 73 degrees. Wind south at 6 miles an hour. Palestine, sunny and 75 degrees. Wind southeast at 3 miles an hour. And the course at Kamla, clear and 77 degrees. Wind southeast at 8 miles an hour. Elsewhere across the four-state region, Oklahoma City, mostly cloudy and 74. Little Rock, clear and 69. Jackson, Mississippi, clear and 70. Baton Rouge, clear and 75. And at Houston, partly cloudy and 81 degrees. Now let's check on your local forecast. Today, isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Partly cloudy. Highs around 103. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Heat index readings 104 to 106. Tonight, Partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 70s. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Tuesday, partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 102. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 70s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, partly cloudy. Highs around 103. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 70s. Thursday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 103. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid
mid-70s. Friday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 103. Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Saturday, partly cloudy. Highs around 103. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Sunday, partly cloudy. Highs around 102. At 5 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, 0900 UTC, the center of tropical storm Chert was located near latitude 31.3 north, longitude 63.4 west. Chert is moving toward the north near 14 miles per hour. A turn toward the north northeast and an increase in forward speed are expected during the next couple of days. On the forecast track, the center of Chert will pass near or east of Bermuda later today. Maximum sustained winds have increased to near 60 miles per hour with higher gusts. Some additional strengthening is expected during the next day or so. Tropical storm force winds extend outwards up to 70 miles, mainly to the north and east of the center. Estimated minimum central pressure is 1,003 millibars, 29.62 inches. Here is your area's open water boating forecast, broadcast at the top and bottom of the hour. Gusts may be higher. Today, isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Partly cloudy. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Tonight, partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Tuesday, partly cloudy with isolated showers and thunderstorms. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20%. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wednesday, partly cloudy. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southwest after midnight. Thursday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, shifting to the south late in the afternoon. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Friday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour, shifting to the south late in the afternoon. Friday night, partly cloudy. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, partly cloudy. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Here's the tropical weather outlook. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on tropical storm jerks located about 130 miles southeast of Bermuda. Shower and thunderstorm activity has diminished in association with the broad area of low pressure, located about 550 miles north-northeast of the northern Leeward Islands. Environmental conditions are expected to remain only marginally conducive for development of this system over the next couple of days due to proximity to tropical storm jerk. This system has a low chance, 10%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours as it moves north-northwestward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of southwest and south-central Arkansas, northwest and north-central Louisiana, southeast Oklahoma, and east and northeast Texas. For today and tonight, isolated thunderstorms will be possible for some locations today and tonight along and near a nearly stationary boundary that will whip north. Strong and gusty winds will be possible in and near thunderstorms. No organized hazardous weather is expected at this time. Temperatures will climb to near or slightly above 100 degrees today with heat index values ranging from near 100 to 105 degrees with brief and isolated higher readings. For the period Tuesday through Sunday, temperatures will climb to near or slightly above 100 degrees for much of the rest of the week and into the weekend with heat index values ranging from near 100 to 105 degrees.